Can most people solve their problems? <laughs> I don't know if that's going to sound right. Let me rephrase that. Can most people solve problems with money? I was going to say they, but I don't know. They didn't seem to fit together. But I think about that a lot. A lot of people have issues. And I believe most issues tend to come from lack of finances. So I think most people are trying to figure out ways to earn more money. People do live streams for hours trying to get donations or um, cash app hits or whatever they do, super chats for money. People talk negative about other people or use drama or do things they probably wouldn't do in real life for money. So saying this, it makes me think about will money make most people happy? And I must say yes and no. <laughs> the reason I say yes and no is because when people have money, they feel a lot more secure, a lot more free. They don't worry about it as much. However, I would say that when people get money, uh, like the best part of people come out, but sometimes the hedonistic worst part can come out where people do things that are so reckless in opposition to the betterment of society. And you got to understand, we as humans can be selfish. I can be extremely selfish. You know, I'm, I like to do what I want to do. And I, being like that, sometimes your actions can be detrimental to others. And I wonder... Like I, I, this is how I think about myself. If I was a billionaire, which maybe I, one day I will be, <laughs> not. But it's so funny because I really. It's not that I love money. I don't, but I, I need it to survive in the society that we live today. And if I can have enough money that my money makes money for me doing nothing, then it's easier for me to help people. So that's pretty much what I focus on. I work. I focus on investments. I focus on. Um, companies that I can invest in that I think will have an exponential return. And I do things that I like too, but I try to always invest in things that I use every day. Um, like I wear Nike shoes or I wear a D desk. <laughs> I'm going to try to buy those stocks. I'm going to try to buy Ford stock because I like Ford, you know, and I'll sell it if I see it going down too much for me, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm a, what do you call a long-term investor? So I'm pr quite stable, but let me get back on track. I just wonder, this is just what I think. Um, if people really had money, if they could buy what they like, would they change their lives? Would they? Would life become? Would life become better? However, I think the problem is so many people really want to control other people. So many people want people to think the way they think, and, and they think they have life figured out. That we're always espousing these philosophies of how you should do it and how you should be. And. I'm not sure if I agree with most people's philosophies. My philosophy, number one, is to love people. <laughs> I love you. I want you to feel great. I want you to feel special. I want you to feel loved. <laughs> that's the best way to say it. I want you to feel like no matter what, there's somebody with you. And that's how people should feel. But so many people feel that somebody is the enemy. And so many people don't want to see other people win. I want to see you all win. I know there's going to be people who lose some sometimes. But if you look at it, um, you had a goal and you set out to achieve it. It's the journey that is the win. You may never get to where you want to go, but as long as you go on towards it, you haven't failed <laughs> unless there's a time limit <laughs> and it's too late. <laughs> but in general, that's just what I think about. I think about will money solve the problems of most people? And overall, I really want to say yes, but I say yes and no, because if you have money, but you have no discipline or no financial literacy, you don't know how to use your money to empower yourself. Um, you might be broke <laughs> sooner than you can think about it. So that's the problem. A lot of people really don't study how your money can work for you. They don't understand cash flow, passive income, stuff like that. And I, my whole advice for people who don't know me, I would say start a Robin Hood account, a Fidelity account, um, TD Ameritrade, TD Ameritrade account, M1, E Trade, uh, Webull, wherever you a brokerage where you can invest in a company. And if you buy a product, if you have a, a Apple phone, uh, you need to try to buy Apple stock. If you can't buy a whole share of Apple, buy an incremental share of Apple. You can do it. Go to Robinhood and put two dollars on Apple. <laughs> if 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 you. It just makes sense. If you brush your teeth or you wash your clothes um, or you put on some baby oil, tell me why you don't own Procter & Gamble 
or Johnson and Johnson. Just let me know. Or the Clorox company. I don't understand people. I, why would you not do it? it? It makes sense. If you eat at Whole Foods all the time, you need to have some money in Amazon. <laughs> I use Amazon like it's going out of style. I need some money in it. If you like McDonald's, you need to have some Mickey D stock. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. And this is what I would tell people. This is what I'm. AMC stock shot up recently, right? And I'm telling people, yeah, if you if you believe in a company and it's at a low, of course, buy it. However, if, if you think you can lose your money, put in a stop limit in there. So you can't lose your money. You can lose it, but you can't time the market. Either you believe in a company or you don't. I'm not a day trader. I'm not going around. I understand it. I'm, I'm not a person that's trading options. I'm not going to tell people to do it, but... That's like, it's, it's, it's a gamble. It's always going to be a gamble. I don't care if you start your own business. I don't care if you get a job. You hope your job's going to be there tomorrow, but you never know what's going to happen, even if you got a contract. So companies file bankruptcy all the time and people lose their pensions. So my advice for people is try to find as many ways as you can to get um, money coming in. Offer a service, you know, sell a product. All these people selling courses of how to be stupid, how to get rich in one day, how to become a millionaire tomorrow. Let me help you. Let me shoot. Let, even though there's a free video around the corner, let me teach you how to invest in stock. Yes, this is how you do it. And you give me nine ninety nine ninety nine, five easy payments. I don't know how much that is because I'm not good at math. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Forty five, four hundred, four hundred fifty dollars. Give me that. <laughs> five hundred dollars round about with all that extra nines. So you know you do that, and I'll show you. I'll point you to where you need to go click. <laughs> but then you got to pay them too to learn more. <laughs> But that's what I see on these uh, these videos. It's cool. I, I can always tell people the companies I like. I can do that. Um, I don't mind telling people about how dividends work. So I like let me just do that because a lot of people don't know. Uh, look, if you buy a stock and a stock is worth a hundred dollars, right, and it has a seven percent dividend yield, that means over a year, over that year, at the end of the year, however they split up their dividend payments they're going to give you seven dollars for every hundred dollars they're going to give you seven percent of that and that's seven percent of a hundred is seven dollars so it's just that simple so you that's better than a return from a bank then credit cards get you worse than that you know they're charging you like 12 to 15 percent interest some people 10 percent so for every hundred dollars they're going to uh charge you 10 percent, and it could be per month so it, it's it's it makes sense that people First, we got to learn to control our emotions and not buy things haphazardly. I'm, I'm privy to that sometimes. I see, you know, my, my emotional love of the Lakers and shoes makes me want to buy purple and gold stuff. <laughs> and I could have said, in my brain, you know, I like video games. I want to buy this video game where I could have put that money into um, take one stock and made money. So, I mean, you don't really make money, but your money accrues or accumulates or appreciation of a stock goes up then you have unrealized gains that you can sell as for liquidity to have more money that's what i think about so i went off i go left and right sometimes but the whole point is um money can make you happy it can however it can also hurt you because when you have money people are going to want to take it from you so it's like kind of this may make sense but somebody else is successful Instead of achieving success on your own, you be right or belittle, or you put down somebody else to try to get their success or tell them or tell somebody else that you're better than them. Well, I can think I'm the best YouTuber on the planet, which truthfully I may be, but nobody knows it yet. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to destroy other people for me to hold that mantle, you know, for me, for me to say, Charles is the best around. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do what I do. So how, how I live life. This I'm being like real silly. I'm just this whole time I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to anybody. But how I feel about life is, man, just do the best you can. Uh, try to stay disciplined. Try to be as loving and as kind and happy to people as you can be. And don't let stuff that if something irritates you and you want to be negative about it, uh, say nothing. Just suck it in. Do like I do. I put on headphones. I just shake my head. It was wrong. I'm nothing. But you're your head, huh? I was just thinking about something I forgot to do. And I'm like, damn it, I forgot it. <laughs> That's me being, <laughs> as being honest in a way, because uh, something I want to do is tell you how how much you're irritating me. Huh? I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah, but that's what I think about life. I think money can make people happy, but you have to uh, mitigate your uh, desire for it 
with understanding and great power comes great responsibility, Spider-Man. So don't let your uh, desire for wealth, your desire for money take you to a place where you don't want to go. I would never want money that much where I want to talk negative about someone else to get there. I don't want to disparage. I don't want to put you down. Um, let me let me go off on a uh, I'm about to go off a topic for a second. I want people to understand. I'm a man and I'm biased. I think how I think men think. And I think about men and women all the time. I enjoy ladies. I love talking to ladies. However, what I do think, and I'm throwing this at the end, so if somebody want to throw a curveball at me, go for it. I do think that most women, I can't say, I should say most, but it seems like, it seems like a great number of women don't really care about how men actually think. I, I, it, it blows me away with that. But I'm, I, the more I listen to many women have dialogues, it's, 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 it's amazing to me that the ladies really, 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 really don't care what men say or they don't believe us. Why don't you believe me? Like I said, I said it in a video before I got gone. I'm going to go back to money, I guess. I'm, I'm in this. But if I think you look great, Believe me, I wouldn't tell you you look great. No, you don't mean it. Yes, I do. I would have told you. You're fucking beautiful. I think you're gorgeous. Wow. I see you working out, and I'm like, oh, great looking. Wow. Lucky I'm not there. <laughs> we had to do a different type of workout. <laughs> I had to, I'm still talking about money. I, I couldn't make it rain. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> see how money messes you up? See how, you don't want me money. <laughs> Where you at? He's in the club. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't go live. 